just pulled up to the guitar center. About to get some uh some equipment, man. I'm finna get some ideas of what I wanna get. Something new. You know, you know it'd be taxing, but I'm gonna figure a way out to finesse it. You feel me? Later. I just got a good understanding of what I need to get. You know what I'm saying? I need to get these ETX 18s for sure. I don't want to get nothing else. I mean, the KW-181s, they hit, but they ain't hitting the right notes that I want to hit. I kind of like the JBLs, but they get muffled after you turn the volume up. But I think the EV ETX 18s is the way to go. So that's how we going to go. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna carry these subs, whatever. But I only got like a certain amount of space. I drive a coupe. I got a G37, you know what I'm saying? I can't really put too much in the wheel, but this could be my uh, my main primary setup, but I can leave it back in Louisiana when I got gigs back at home. A big event. I got the perfect idea of what I need to buy now. So the reason why I haven't bought them yet because I don't have an SUV or a truck to carry this back and forth, you know what I'm saying? But I got a perfect example of what I need to get now. So I think I'm gonna go EV, EV all day, EV ETX. I was gonna get the, the EKXs, but they sound trash. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I spend a thousand dollars, why not spend another 500 and get what I really want? You know what I'm saying? Just for one right now. Cause I mean, 1500 plus 1500 is $3,000. So I'ma I'm buy one and I'm, I'm gonna try it out. I know I want two, but I'm just gonna buy one for, just to see how they sound. You know, I'm gonna keep the same brand. I got the EV tops already, so. It's, it's only right there to the, the match up the ETX with the ETX so. That's how we gonna rock. Thank you.